She's been a pioneer entrepreneur in downtown Asheville and a real trailblazer in so many ways. Local leader Laurie Masterton is now under hospice care. And as News 13's John Lee tells us, Laurie's business has become a sometimes emotional gathering place. Don't postpone joy and how true that is. Yeah. We identify some businesses by name alone. Lori's Catering in downtown Asheville is also famous locally for owner Lori Masterton's heart and soul. This don't postpone joy has been Lori's symbol for such a long time. Three words embody her spirit. She is now the owner of the trademark. Please come in. I think Lori's just really set the bar for local businesses and local restaurants to make a contribution to the community. Lori now under hospice care. She's more than just an entrepreneur or a chef, more than an author or community leader. As a cancer survivor since her early 20s, Lori has inspired countless people. In 2009, she bicycled across the country and raised money for the Ovarian Cancer Association. Lori's sister Heather says the 59-year-old has never been defined by the disease. What I admire most about Lori is that she always sets a new challenge for herself. Soup, um, yeah, soup, and it's called, is it squash? One of Lori's passions, introducing kids to healthy foods. Invited to the White House for the start of Michelle Obama's Chefs in Schools program, retired teacher Susan Shilcock says her impact will live on. She fought so hard, um, and we need more people like her around. We don't need to be losing people like Lori, but she's left such a legacy. Got my bee hat on. I was going to say I love this. We often saw Lori in the Carolina kitchen here on News 13. Over the years, boiling down the recipe for life to three words. I love the, the bumper stickers that say, don't postpone joy. In downtown, you could say it was customer appreciation day, but not in the conventional sense. I did not know that. I'm really sad to hear that. Not postponing, an outpouring of admiration. It's really a wonderful place of refuge for everybody now, and I know lot, thousands of people are thinking of my sister Lori and trying to keep her in their hearts. In downtown Asheville, John Lee, News 13. Laurie is also a beekeeper and an advocate for sustainable agriculture. Yeah. Her sister Heather is encouraging all of us to take on a new challenge in life in honor of Laurie.